in view of the above, I need to tell you the things that will begin to happen. I think we need to begin from, I need to read the scripture to us. First Peter chapter 4 verse 17. Since it's an era of righteousness, this new theme of the season in which we have entered has implications on the body of Christ, has implications on our dear nation Nigeria, it has implications on the continent of Africa, and it has implications on the RCN. So the scripture that I requested that you open, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, is a scripture that gives us insight into the implication of the theme of this season as it has to do with the body of Christ. The scriptures read, and I quote, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? When God insists that righteousness will reign, part of what God does is that he comes to visit his own house. God's house is that place where God has authority. He can legitimately exercise his authority over his house. So God is coming to visit the church. And in keeping with the policy direction of righteousness, the manifestation of God that is going to be seen in the church is that called judgment. Let me read to us his very words. He said, judgment of all forms will be meted out on falsehood in the house of God. All forms of infiltration in the body of Christ in terms of deceptions and cover-ups will be exposed. So, I'm saying that in the, from the next few weeks, we're in January, before January ends, you will start hearing news of several cover-ups that they have, people in church have successfully <laughs> done for several years that will explode. Just watch it. The reason why this is happening is because there is a new era that God has initiated. And the first impact, the first recipient of this new policy that heaven has decided to adopt is going to be in the house of God. You are going to hear terrific news. The social media, the internet, the news houses, huh, a lot of things will come up. But I will not go more than that. It says, in keeping with this judgment, some ministers will lose their voices. Some will be overtaken by strange illnesses. Some will be called home. Some ministries will scatter. Some will experience heavy breakaways while others will close completely. Number two. Fresh promotions have been concluded in heaven concerning those that have been faithful to the call of Jesus. One of the parameters with which or by which you will know such men that have been promoted is that their scope of influence and their capacity to carry God's authority will be on the rise. 
the Lord also said that some new voices will begin to emerge. He said the demarcation between light and darkness will so greatly increase that it will become easy to know who is in the Lord's service and who is using the Lord's name as a cover up to service himself. He also said that there will be higher demands of consecration required for accurate ministers in this season. Number five, he says, revivals and supernatural conversions will be seen in northern Nigeria. Unexplainable conversions. People that uh, were in other religions, very devoted people in other religions, you will see them come out and they will not be ashamed to declare their newfound faith. You will see those kind of stuff um, this year. Uh, I could also see that some form of revival began and there is a part of Kogi State that came under the influence of a great awakening. Concerning Nigeria, famine is coming. Famine. You know, you know I'm not teaching. I'm just telling you what I heard. There's something called famine. It's coming. Now, there are three strategies that God gave that will help us escape this famine. He said be strategic and prudent with resources. Trust God to venture into side businesses. Make sure you have a farm. I know you did. You, did. you were supposed to say amen at that point. Amen. Please help me preach that one to your neighbor. Make sure you have a farm. Number three, I send an alarm to all the intercessors in Nigeria. Listen to me. Satan wants to bring a siege upon Nigeria in the month of April. Listen again. Satan wants to bring a siege upon Nigeria in the month of April. So from the month of January, we'll begin to attack that siege. Month of February, we'll begin to attack that siege. Month of March, we'll begin to attack the siege. Because what I saw about that siege is that the siege can be deflected. We can deflect it. It is not something that cannot change. But if we do nothing about it, the siege will come. And when the siege comes, one state in Nigeria will be locked down. And if we do nothing after that, then there is a likelihood that that uprising that will lead to the lockdown of one state will affect many other states. It will further plunge our economy below the belt. If nothing is done, it will lead to an uprising that you and me don't want to see. We can set up our siege against the siege of Satan. The month of April will determine whether we are victorious or whether we have failed. It's a pray against regional crisis in Nigeria. Uh, 
um, the other ones are too sensitive. We cannot say them online. Now, those words I told you, they will come to pass. The only one that can change is April. Any other one you pray for, you will pray, but it will still come to pass. There are many things that God told me that I did not read to you. You know why? In the prophetic, one prophet must speak and other prophets must confirm it. Are you there? The ones I read to you are the ones that other prophets have confirmed. So there are others that I received that the other prophetic people across the world, no other person picked it, so I didn't read those ones. These ones will come to pass. The time has come. God is set to return to Nigeria. You, it's an error. An error has opened. Oh, I did not tell us about Benway. Hey. Is there any need? He said the food basket shall be replenished. Yeah. Then I saw an enemy that was trying to infiltrate the land. And then God dealt a terrible blow on that enemy. A terrible blow. I can't say more than this. But the basket, it shall be replenished. <laughs> what other people will experience in other places will not experience it. Because the basket shall be replenished. Hello guys. Wow. Welcome to the year 2024. I want to really appreciate you for your support throughout the year 2023. Thank you for your love, kind comments, criticism, suggestions and all. The growth of this channel during the last year was terrific and beyond my imagination. All I can say is glory to God and thank you to every viewer. Just like God's servant has declared, we are in a sensitive season that has been named the Era of Righteousness. Therefore, if I continue to give a summary of this message based on the form of emphasis, I want to welcome you once again to the commentary section of the Great Life Channel. This is an Era of Righteousness where every form of wickedness, deception, and falsehood will be adequately dealt with by God. The error has implications on the body of Christ, Nigeria, and the continent of Africa. I believe the dangerous thing to be false in this season, because the judgment of God is near. Apostle Romeo is to understand that many false ministers will lose their voices. Some will be taken by illness, some will be caught home, while some of them will scatter. Every first preacher should think about this and make it really right before God. He is so loving and can't wait to have you back. The second phase of the prophecy is that fresh promotions have been concluded for those faithful to the call of Jesus. There will be an emergence of new voices, a distinct demarcation between light and darkness, revival and supernatural conversion in places where the gospel has not taken root, and therefore a higher demand for consecration is required from every accurate minister. The third phase of the prophecy is about Nigeria. After Sharon Mahari revealed that famine is coming, but he also shared the intelligence with us on how to be a victim of the coming famine. Strategy 1. Be strategic and prudent with resources. Strategy 2. Trust God to venture into side business. Strategy 3. Make sure you have a farm. When instructions like these come out, you will take advantage of the solution if you don't want to be a victim of it. The three instructions are very vital. Take them seriously and also inform your friends and family. Lastly, about Nigeria, the agenda of time has been revealed about the seed it plans to bring to the nation in this new year. Oh, dear Nigeria and our lovers, please keep our nation in your prayers. There is something I heard towards the end of the message. Our pastor has finally revealed that all the promises will come to pass, except the one about the seed of darkness that can be solved by the prayers of intercessors. Please, once again, Keep our dear nation Nigeria in your prayers. 
In conclusion, let's live right here to the Lord's empowered. His grace is sufficient and capable enough to sponsor our holy living. Rely on Him and He will strengthen you to live rightly now and beyond. Thank you once again. Welcome to Service 24.